Hello friends, welcome back to another session with me, Sanyukta Saxena. In today's session, we shall be learning another Zentangle original pattern, which is called Mist. Yeah. If in case you had a chance to look at the teaser posted on my Facebook page, I've also already posted a couple of tiles on my Insta handle by the name Sanyukta.Saxena. Mist is a very simple pattern. It uh, act one of those patterns whose name actually inspired from how mist looks like, right? So let us see how to draw the basic pattern and we shall explore it more. I shall also show you a few tiles wherein I have used mist differently in different ways. Right. So but first let us learn how to draw the basic pattern and then we shall proceed forward. Right. So mist is a pattern that starts like a zigzag. Right. So if this is the space that I have, it can be fit in, fitted into any space, right? So that's not important. So this is how I will start and then some dots. So that's the basic stroke, right? One stroke, a zigzag and some dots, right? So now it's up to you whether you want to keep all of them of the same length. You can vary the length. One small thing that you can also do is put some pen pressure at the beginning and then lighten it a bit. So it gets a little more character like this, right? Something that doesn't come easily requires practice, but you can always vary your pen pressure at different points and then you will see how the look also varies, right? So I'm pressing the pen hard initially, then going light, then again pressing it a little and then adding some dots. So this is the basic pattern missed. Now there are different ways to go about drawing it. You can always add, you know, thicker line. You can replicate the auras very closely if you want. These two lines are thicker. If you want, you can closely replicate the auras, although it is not a rule, but this is also one way to draw it. Just closely replicate the aura, make sure that they are the same and then they get a different look, right? You can also try different things, for example, something like this. There are a number of ways to play around, right? So just explore, experiment. Right. You can also keep changing your pens, something that we can do to bring about another variation. For example, I used my PN, then you can use a thicker, bolder pen. Then again, you can alternate with a thinner pen. Then again, you can use a bolder pen. So there are so many ways to go about drawing the same pattern. But this is the basic of the pattern, mist. Right. Now I'll show you a few tiles which will give you some idea on how you can use the same pattern differently. So this is a tile that I posted. You can see mist here, a mix of bold and you know normal thinner lines. So just a few more tangles to go along and how beautiful the tangle looks like, right? This is a very simple tile where I have used mist just like a sun, a uh, combination of probably sun and moon and then some mist all around, right? A touch of transcending here. Again, this is a tile that I posted as the teaser. You can see mist in the center, right? And some poke roots and mukas and poke leaves. Again, this is one more tile that I have already posted. Again, mist at the four corners. This is another tile. You can use it in the center, right? And then this is another. Actually, the center of focus in this tile was crescent moon. How you have used crescent moon differently. But it also had mist, so I pulled it out. This is one of the tile I posted today on my handle, right? So there was one more tile that I made. I think, yeah, this one. So mist in the center and some gorgeous and sea waves to go along, right? So there are so many ways to play around, just explore. Today we'll draw a very simple tile using the pattern mist. I'm not going to use a very complicated 
tangle we will be using totally organic tangles some flowers and leaves and petals right so adding my four dots and border and this is an apprentice size tile yeah and uh, my border is in place and I'm going to start with my patterns diagonally so just a rough line for reference like this and then I'm going to start with the pattern called Janelli by Randy Wayne it is not a Zentangle original but it is a very simple pattern to draw and we can use it here very comfortably to draw our flowers so basically you will be learning two patterns today in case you are new to Zentangle so I'm going to draw these petal shapes right like these Please don't worry too much about the size, and length and breadth, it's okay. And then I'm going to join or draw lines like this from the petal towards the center. Like this. Right. Once we are done with that, then I'm just going to add these curves at the end of the line and then ink the rest of the portion like this. Right? So pretty simple. Just add these curves at the end of these lines pretty close to the towards the end and then whatever little section is left, just ink it. So curve, 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 curve and then ink the rest of the section. The pattern is called Janelli. It's not necessary that you have to draw it in a flower form. It can be used to fill up any section. I'm using here, it here in a flower, right? So the shape can vary and you have to follow the same principle find the center, connect the center with lines from all around and then round the ends, right? So you can always add one or two fescues, small ones, big ones, right? So then we shall add one of my patterns that is Cora Flux or Flux in the form of a leaf right so you can draw the flux freehand or you can add a leaf kind of shape for your reference whichever way you find it easier so I am adding these curves right and then I am going to connect it by these curves so as to give it the look of flux. So Cora flux, right? So again, I am going to link these. Add flux like stems and two dots. Right? Again, add one more. Add orbs inside. Something which gives this tangle its actual look. Right? Again, I'm going to draw some, a reference line, something like this. Right? You can easily do away with it if you think you can manage it without drawing these. I find it easier so I generally draw a reference line again. Right? 
dots and stems again some umbel another tangle very simple tangle just bands of inked portions with an aura so i'm not going to totally ink it i'm just going to add these knight's bridge kind of bands or stripes here you can ink it generally the original tangle has the inner band completely inked so the, you can call this a variation right you can add one more like this right so please feel free to add any other tangle of your choice right no hard and fast rules that you have to use these tangles only so i am right now preparing my tile i have still not added the pattern mist because mist will be on the two sides right so again i am going to add one more flower here right again the same exercise bands coming from the ends to the center so take your time be patient take deep breaths enjoy each stroke don't be in a hurry and don't bother whether your version is looking the same or it's looking different everything looks nice and then tangled that's the beauty of these patterns right so i'll complete this flower also in exactly the same way so i have done that exercise for this flower and i am adding one more band of umbel here right and then again going to add some more leaves again draw something for my reference cuz i find it easier something like this and again probably one leaf here right so so mist is a lovely pattern which can be used as a filler as a stand alone it has multiple purpose so you can always use it as one of the primary tangles in a tile or you can use it as a filler as a background any way it looks nice and it is very simple to draw and you can bring about variations by adding 
more thickness to the lines by bringing the lines closer to each other there's so many ways no so again pattern kora flux i have released video on drawing this pattern in case you are following my channel then you can find the video right so now let us add one last flower here right add some umbels here and there let us first complete our flower again the same steps so basically combination of three patterns that we are using and some fescues here and there just to touch right again the same process of rounding the ends So I have completed that flower and going to add a few umbel here and there. So So you can always extend it more to this side. I think that's enough. And if you want, you can add few fescues or few more sprinkles or fox. You know, tangles which just come out of anywhere something like sprinkles and so i'm going to stop here about center and now i'm going to extend the pattern till the ends through mist right so we can go on extending the center then we would not have sufficient space for mist so let's get started with mist so take your time and go slow enjoy the waves vary the length looks nice when you vary the length the dots are equally important right so be patient and just go slow so you can see how lovely the pattern looks like a simple pattern but adds so much mystical feeling to your tile right so 
so take that time and go slow right repeat the lines And similarly, the other side, so easier to order this way, so rotate your tile. You can also play around by, as I showed you, you can curl up the ends. There are so many ways to play around. You can add some weight at the beginning of the line. right so just press your pen a little when you are starting or somewhere in between comes better with an O8 but I want them thin here a little delicate so I'm not pressing my pen too hard Mist is also a nice background tangle, so you can transcend it very easily. So, since it doesn't have inking involved, so it's a nice tangle to draw over. Right? So, this is how mist looks like. You can always extend it till the end right so I'll do the same thing on the other side also start here again aura just about auraing again re-emphasizing the importance of auras in the entangle everything revolves around auras one single stroke and rest is just a repetition. Right. I'm almost finishing here. Continuing with the same. Auras. right so done with it so now let us move on to shading our tile so I'm going to be adding some graphite around the center of my flowers and then at the edges So there are so many ways to go about shading so there is no hard and fast route you can shade the way you wish to so i'm going to darken one side of my cora flux and highlight the other side right and then as far as the umbels a thin line under and on both sides of the band so 
so you can always shade it differently as I told you there are no rules for shading whatever looks nice we don't think about the light source and shadows in Zentangle we just shade what looks good and basically as you draw more and more you'll realize how to shade it comes better with practice you realize what looks good and what does not look as good nothing looks bad so again outlining the centerpiece with my graphite So let us first start shading and then we'll see where what we need to add. So let's blend. So pulling the graphite towards the center but again not covering the entire center. Leaving white spaces is very essential to get that contrast so that the shading shows you cannot turn the whole thing grey so just blend but don't blend too much right and the third one then moving on to our leaves going to almost cover the half lighter at the ends and darker in the beginning So again moving on to our rumble, so spaces are small, don't blend too much. Yeah, and then inside the band. Just leave a highlight in between if possible otherwise we'll add it with the help of our chalk pencil don't blend too much just blur the graphite right I think we are done with it yeah now moving on to our mist so blending the outline to the center piece Take your time, go slow, blend it well. Right? So now you can also add if you want. 
at the ends Just blend it. Soften the pencil. Pull it towards the center. So now let us pick up our chalk pencil and add some highlight here. Then on the umbel. Right, then on one side of my Cora Flux, a little chalk. Just to highlight it, highlight the fold basically. Right. Now what we can do here is, in between spaces in sum, we can fill it up. Like this. Right. So again adding that drama because we don't have in portions on this tile so we can afford to do that right so just inking every second or third pair of mist right so this step is entirely up to you you may may not do it this is something that you decide once you are finishing your tile and you see that some extra drama can be added by inking right so I'm going to do this on both sides ink some of the mist in pairs right So this is how the tile looks like after you ink alternate sections of the mist, right? So now you can go on and on adding things but I am going to limit myself here and I am going to close my tile, right? So put my chop, sign and date it. So I'll be posting all these tiles on my page, Facebook page by the name Sanyukta Zentangle and also on my Insta. Do follow my videos, do subscribe to my channel if you like it. Till then, bye bye, see you and I'll come back with another new Zentangle pattern. Till then, stay safe.